Now that we've completed the schema, we can close the fields view and the attribute table view. And now we want to update the symbology for the trees feature layer because it's the symbology we'll be using in the field when we collect our actual tree locations. So I'm going to select the trees feature layer and go to the appearance ribbon and click on the symbology dropdown and select unique values. This will open up the symbology pane. I'm going to go ahead and dock mine over on the right. The first thing you need to do is set your field. We're going to switch it from type to size, and that's going to pick up the three sizes from the attribute domain, large, medium, and small. Now I'm going to click on the more options, and I'm going to disable show all other values so it doesn't show that class. And then I'm going to click more again and select format all symbols. Now in the gallery panel, in the type here to search, I'm going to type in tree and find the tree symbol in the ArcGIS 2D section, select it, and then go to properties and switch the color to a tree looking green. Then it looks good and click apply. I'm going to click back to return to the primary symbology panel. Now notice that it updated all three classes both in the symbology pane and in my contents pane but I need to differentiate those classes so I'm going to click on the large symbol patch and upgrade the size from 10 to 24 and click apply and back and then I'm going to click on the medium symbol patch and change it from 10 to 16. So now it's obvious that it's a tree symbol and it's obvious that it is large, medium, and small trees. All right, go ahead and close the symbology pane. I'm going to go ahead and reset my ArcGIS Pro interface and save my ArcGIS Pro project. All right, now that I've prepared my schema and updated my symbology, I'm ready to share my trees point feature class as a trees point feature web layer. And I can do that in ArcGIS Pro from the share ribbon. So I'm gonna click on the share ribbon and then in the share as group, click on the web layer dropdown button and select Publish Web Layer. Go ahead and dock that on the right. And you can see that the name, summary, and tags are already filled in. The layer type by default is set to feature, which is what we want. We're just going to go ahead and save it to the location root folder. And then we want to share with Austin Community College GIS. And then under Groups, I'm going to select the drop down and select ACC. We want to restrict who can access the layer because we don't want anybody editing it. So only ACC GIS students. All right, once your settings are correct, go ahead and click on the Configuration panel. And then in the Layer section for the Feature layer, click on the little pencil button to configure your web layer properties and we want to make sure that our web feature layer has editing enabled it has sync enabled you can export the data and then last make sure that you preserve editor tracking info once you have your settings configured properly, you're ready to analyze your web feature layer. Make sure it'll publish. Now, I didn't get any errors, but I did get some warnings. And if I expand my warnings, I can see the warnings relate to the world topographic map and the world hillshade, which doesn't matter to me. So I can just go ahead and publish my web feature layer.
once it's published, you'll get a little message at the bottom of the panel that says it was successful. And you can click on that hyperlink, the manage the web layer to actually open your web layer in a internet browser. But we can also confirm in ArcGIS Pro that it was published successfully. In the catalog pane, click on the portal panel. And then in the my content section of the portal panel, you should be able to find your tree point web feature layer. And there it is right there listed in my portal. All right, so now we're ready to go. Go ahead and save your ArcGIS Pro project. This concludes summary task one.